Hey everyone, G-Pop here, and looks like they released another trailer this morning, at least from the east coast of North America, and I, I really hate that they're do uploading at that time as well. It, it's kind of, I'm reacting to this a couple, a few hours late because I have work and stuff like that and I kind of have to deal with that. So I'm, I'm actually recording this during my break right now because I want, I really, really wanted to see this. I didn't want to wait until the, uh, until, until I'm done work. I really want to watch this because it's now on the, the Maid Sisters, Husui and Kuhaku fighting each other. So this was kind of, uh, this is what I was kind of expecting their next gameplay videos to be was between these two because, you know, they're related and stuff like that. It was kind of interesting. So I think after these two, it'll be, it'll get even more interesting because now it's going to be even, even more new characters that we saw very little of. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I don't think I have much else to say. Wait, let's just watch, let's just actually start watching this um, from the beginning, Kohaku versus Hisui. I wonder who they're going to showcase first, and who, who's going to win this time, Kohaku or Hisui. There, I know there's a lot of new stuff, especially with Kohaku, that I'm really interested in. Hisui, I like her. I like her as a character and all that. I like both of them as a character. I really like Hisui as well, but her, her gameplay is kind of like much more straightforward and I guess you could say boring compared with Kohaku, but... Who knows, maybe she's going to have a lot of new stuff that they haven't shown yet, so... Uh, let's actually get right to it. <laughs> Kohaku and Hisui. This will be really interesting. It's probably going to be another 45 minute video too, going through all this. Ah, oh, yeah, she got here. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, they're special intros with each other. Alright, so this song. They're playing this song, this one. Oh, sh okay. She got her horizontal to project us. Ooh, okay, interesting. Alright. Oh yeah, she got the yeah, 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 in the air. Nice. Okay, so again, we're seeing Wake Up Moon Drive into Shield. Okay, it's an air dash jump beat. Whoa, new follow up. Okay, that's definitely something to look at later. Wait, so she air dash cancelled after that. That's interesting. Okay, I gotta see it. That's gonna be something to look at as well. Uh, see how she air dash cancelled that. Oh, that's... Okay. Oh, that's big. Wait, so if you get... If Kohaku gets hit now... Does it disappear? That's a huge nerf on her. Oh my god, those, all those overheads. We guilty gear now. Yo, Hisui is literally guilty gear. She got the multi overhead. She got the dust loops. <laughs> Okay, Moon Drive. Alright, a lot of charge moves. Neutral. Alright. Oh, uh, that was an interesting Moon Drive pose. Oh, okay. That, that, uh, wait, did she have EX Air? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't recall. I've never seen people use the Air version. <laughs> Alright, so who see won that first round? There's a lot going on at once. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, sorry. I gotta go back. I just noticed something. Is she? Is she? Is she? Okay. I think she's holding what I think she's holding. <laughs> I, I swear to god if she is. Alright, launcher. Oh, okay, so that just works like that. Whoa, add a combo extension. Alright, so that there's a crumple state now. I've never seen... I've never seen crumple state before in this game. Wait, but that's like the only time I've ever seen Crumple State. Okay, so she's staying same side now from that air throw. Ooh, okay. Interesting combo extensions. Oh, what a nice fake. Alright, Kaga's gonna win it. Some really interesting showcase of how you can extend uh, combos. Alright, I know this is all really short combos. Oh my god, wow! Okay, that was actually kind of sick, to be honest. That double clap, that clap, the clash though. Does that fall? Yeah, no call. Ooh, nice, way to get out. That two seat. Okay, so she has that. Launcher, air grab. Oh, she, she just straight up air dashes. I don't think there was. I, I need to see if there's a jump cancel from that. 
uh, Hey Johnny, but it's no longer Hey Johnny. I'm so sad. Ooh. Is it Husui gonna win? Alright, who's gonna win this one? Alright, Moon Drive to get out. Close match. Could be anyone's game. Oh! Arc Drive reversal! Is this gonna kill? No, it's not. Oh, it's really close. It's really close. Oh! Oh, and Hisui wins it. Wow, that were <laughs> Wake up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I love that ending pose. That winning pose. Oh my god. Okay. This is gonna be another 45 minute video here. I'm sorry, guys. This is... There's a lot to take in. Oh my god. Okay. 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 And the problem is, they announced as well that there's gonna be a new character trailer released today too. So I'm gonna have to make another video. I have to uh, upload another video on that too. And these videos doesn't take... Because these are like 45 minute videos, these are these are usually like um, <laughs> these usually take a while to process. But uh, anyways, let's see if I can get this out before uh, the trailer comes out. All right, so let's go to the start of the match. <sighs> All right, so again, pre-round movement. So I won't again. I won't go over the stuff that I talked about in the previous videos. You can watch my previous uh, gameplay videos uh, about that. Um, so I want to repeat the same things that I've seen before. I'm just gonna, I think this video is gonna be mostly focusing on either like the whatever new tools they have that we haven't seen before, the combo routes and stuff. And also um, if there is any new mechanics we haven't seen yet. All right, so she throws her projectiles. I, she throws two of them, so they're both for, uh, horizontal. All right, so she does her, I think this jump to B. I don't recall his jump to C. I think it's jump to B. Which like stops your momentum too. So it's kind of like uh, it's a really good move for like uh, changing your uh, momentum when coming down. So it kind of mixes them up with it. She gets the hit and moon drives to co for the combo extension confirm. Alright, instant air dash. So that's jump B B. Yeah, let's go back. Instant air dash, jump B B, ground bounce, jump C. 5A into straight into launcher. Moonsko, yeah, 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 yeah. But she doesn't go all the way down with it. She just jump cancels it. All right, so she, again, so what, this is what we're seeing again. Usually, what they do right after Moon Drive, right after they activate Moon Drive, they immediately cancel into Shield. Okay, so Susu is able to jump cancel to block that. Oh, but she doesn't punish. But maybe it's because she could jump cancel that. I think I think this one is going to be extremely powerful because you could jump cancel this. So this is going to be safe. I, I really don't like that you can jump cancel this. I feel like this should be punishable if they miss. Uh, because this is a very powerful reach is really far and stuff like that. It is blockable though. Well, all of them are blockable. Alright. Put something. Doesn't get hit by the uh, bento box. Alright, so instant air dash, jump B, really good. Pretty low. Wow, what is that? Is that her auto combo? It's like, that's 5C. So this is like, check, 5CC, but is it 5CC or is it just 5C and it does the whole thing now? But I've never seen that before. I think this is an auto combo specific normal, but. This is interesting because before she had another auto combo specific normal, which is like her kick. But now it's a fan that brings you down. So, so interesting. So I wonder if we'll see that kick later. Into, you know, which, which time, which, uh, oh, has invincibility? Wait, this has invincibility now? You can wake up with this? No. Why would this have invincibility? That's so weird. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't come out, the attack doesn't come out immediately. So it's not like it's a good reversal attack. It's more like a get out of the thing move, I guess now. But the problem with this move is that you can air grab this pretty easily. That's what I usually do to evolve punish that. But the problem is air grabs are not as powerful now because they go straight into hard knockdown. So who knows? So you got to confirm into 5A launcher. Okay, so this is going to be interesting. So, I know Kohaku, and it looks like they retained it. She does jump B, jump C. I love that face, by the way. 
jump seat looks like you can see she's already starting to go down so her jump seat is still the same where like if you use it in the air it'll knock him straight down so you can't do jump b jump c with kohaku like other characters that's why she ended the combo early usually what you do is you do, do jump a a b double jump b c air grab that's kind of what you usually do but she just does jump b jump c air grab and i think this is where she does air uh okay no so she does instant air dash cancel so she does um an air version of the instant air dash cancel so when i say instant air dash instant air dash is usually refers to like jump up and then instantly air dash from that so this usually refers to when you're on the ground if you do in the air usually you could just do a regular air dash so usually you don't have to do this but some cases for example like this you might have to do that this is an instant air dash in the air which is kind of funny to know so that's kind of how she was able to air dash after it she did instant air dash from that, and you can see, oh, okay, interesting. So, she does jump A. I wonder if that cancels your momentum like an actress again. It doesn't look like it does. I don't know, she did it really early, so you don't see how what her momentum was before she did it. Um, but I noticed that already her she was being, her hitbox was not allowing her to pass by already as she's getting up. You see, like, it already looked like as if she's hitting a wall. Or some kind of like hit ball, her box, right here. Yeah, you see, she's about to go over, then she got pushed back. So I wonder if that's like kind of the way to prevent like three ways to be as easily done in the air from that. So I don't know. So he does the cactus. Okay, moon skill plant, which is a cactus, which was used to be her ex. Really good move, by the way, because you can see how long it goes for. You can do so many mix-ups while that's out. And to be like only a moon scale now is very powerful. Okay, so she does that into moon drive. It looks like it's her blood heat version, but in yeah, but uh, it has regular heat now. So right here, she has a lot of time to like just dash forward into the plant, even though she's in the corner, she didn't have to. So this is a big thing, this is a big thing. As you can see here, she got hit by the heat, and from the heat, the plant disappeared. So, if I recall correctly, in the previous game, yeah, in the previous game, even if you heated, the plant would always still stay there, so you would still get punished for heating, and she could still full combo, so that's why like the plant was so powerful, because you literally can't do anything, you can't, unless you're like, the only character that could really do anything was like, skill, because when she does her reversal EX, like the EX Hien, which is the full screen thing, and probably uh, H Roa, um, their hitboxes disappear for the entire time, so if you manage to hit them pressing a button, it'll, it'll counter them. But now, but now, she got hit by heat and it disappears, so I wonder if like now, while plant is out, if they get hit in any way, plant immediately disappears. If that's the case, that's a huge, huge nerf to Kohaku. But I think a lot of people will appreciate it because the plant was really broken anyways. So as soon as you force them to block, they can't really do anything. But it was kind of really dumb that you can even like correctly know that they're going to do something in MASH on Wake Up, but still get punished for it. You know what I mean? So it was really dumb. It was really, really like, well, a lot of, like a lot of people would say broken. I don't know, like, I guess that's like the balance of how quick this move comes out. So you can kind of force them to, uh, you can kind of uh, force them to block no matter what now. Uh, uh, like, like the plant could be meaty now. Before the plant wasn't exactly a meaty, it was more like you really, you can't really do anything. Like if you try to press anything to counter it, um, except for like very special, uh, except for very special exceptions, you will still get hit. So it didn't matter if it could meaty or not. Now you can meaty with it. But on the other side is that if you get hit in any way, so if they like DP or something like that, the thing will disappear. So they can at least get out of it more easily. So it's like a nur or buff that now the plant can come out meaty. She mistimed it, so it didn't really happen. But it's also a big nerf. I think the nerf is bigger than the, the timing buff that she you can now get out of it so it's not now it's not no longer like an, an, an immediate guarantee that she can do stuff out of it wow whatever was her face when she was getting hit she was happy to get hurt i think there's like lower reasons for that <laughs> all right charge jump c okay so she cancels her, again that move is really good for canceling the momentum so she was about to try to like oh no she was just running in but yeah go forward pan 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 so 
So I think the ending is a new one because before it used to be just like two, one, two, but now it has a third follow-up that pushes you away. Before it used to be like one, two, I don't recall if there's a third one, one, two, and it would just be a hard knockdown. So duck, EX does, <laughs> but big thing now. So I just noticed this. Or maybe it's because of bad spacing because of how that hit. Before, this dust would always like end up behind you. Now it's like in front of you, which means you can't really do dust loops as easily. Now, you can still do dust loops because I know I saw from the maze trailer we, she was able to do dust loop stuff. So maybe you can do dust loops, but you need to invest, you need to position it much better. So from here, she was unable to do it, pushes them away like that now. So you can't really just put them straight into dust loops anymore. It's kind of unfortunate, and when I refer to dust loops, no, I'm not talking about Guilty Gear dust loops with the dust button. It, it's like figuratively dust. What happened is that before this dust would end up behind you, so then you like do some pressure, put them into that, which will push you back, uh, and then you just keep pressuring and stuff like that. And if, it was, if they got hit, then yeah, it was a free combo, a free dust loop combo. <laughs> so that's what I recall at least. And this was zero frame too. I wonder if it's still zero frame. Uh, no, it doesn't look like a zero frame because you see, you see, she was already moving back. Oh, maybe it was. Maybe it's like one frame now. It used to come out like instantly, so like it was a still reversal where she would still get hit, but that would always come out and it would usually come out in her favor. So again, the guilty gear stuff. So she she does this. So she's able to stay up in the air because of the jump BP, which keeps your keep yourself in the air a lot. Jump C, jump A, ah, low, All right, standard pressure stuff. Moon skill Bento, which she's able to shield, but whiffs the shield counter and gets hit by projectiles for it. Empty jump. All right, so charge C. I'm pretty sure you can like shield this as you could before, especially since now that has a flash. Before charge C didn't have a flash; it would just come out later. Uh, which kind of made it a little harder to react to, but now because of the flash, now you can kind of like see it, see it easier. That doesn't mean your reaction would be better, but you can see it easier. But usually, when you do charge C, you can like shield to get out of it. So if they're abusing that, just shield it. Because the problem with doing holding charge C is that if it, it guarantees that she comes back in no matter where she is from the screen. Like if she's from here, charge C will always push her like really far up to your face. So you just pan pan into dust to keep her safe. Jumps away. Kohaku just defensively moon drive again. How much moon drive does she have? Yeah, she only had half. So she gets it again really fast. And that's something that a lot of people players were noticing is that you get moon drive really fast in this game. So you're going to be, you get moon meter really fast in this game. You're going to be doing moon drive a lot. So that's an interesting interaction. So from moon drive, she did moon skill, gets armor because she's in moon drive. Love that pose, by the way. That cross arm. Yeah, so Moon Scale has armor and Moon Drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, did she do yeah, yeah, yeah? Okay, so she does still say yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so, I'm so happy. They retain that. So, interesting thing. I really thought this would get him like a launcher property, but it doesn't. It launches them without that s s screen zoom. So. It's just a regular move that you can go follow from the combo. I wonder if that means this will be unscaled or something like that. Again, this is assuming... This is assuming that launcher scales like Miyako's uh, launcher back in the previous Melty Blood games. But anyways, jump C, EX, yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes, brings him down, hard knockdown. For Bento, uh, she tries to shield on Wake Up, but grabs her, gets Fatal countered. And I think she got hit from the Bento too. No, she didn't. It was just straight up grab. Okay. God, look at that face. She's just in pain for doing that. <laughs> All right, so she wins that first one. <laughs> Shields the projectile. Tries to shoot counter, but you know, too far. Jump, neutral jump charge C. And it's really good because jump C is really known for being extremely good button from air to ground because of how far it reaches. That broom is such a dumb 
dumb item, like dumb weapon. Ground bounce. Go straight into launcher. Oh wait, wait, hold up, hold up. What? Never mind. Jump C. Jump C does not push him down anymore. She can actually do jump B, jump C, jump B, jump C. I thought, wait, hold up, but it looked like they were gonna go down before. Okay, so I was completely wrong. This is no long jump C no longer immediately knocks you down anymore. Which I think in my in my personal opinion is a better buff because before like not knocking down immediately down to the ground from just regular jump C was kind of uh, kind of nonsensical. Like it makes sense in terms of animation and stuff, but it, it kinda hurt Kohaku's combo potential. Not that she really needed it, because she had really strong uh, combos in general, but... It kind of, like, there was not many cases where you just wanted to run regular jump C for hard knockdown, so... <laughs> she can now use jump C, jump B, jump C now. She, she's been... It's become standardized with her now. So she can do that. Into EX Broom. So I, I completely missed that in the initial reaction, so... That's why it's a good thing we do the slowdown stuff. So again, this is, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> So she has this kick move, but in this auto combo. Ha actually, we have not seen a single rapid beat so far in this match. Like, no, like, full rapid beat thing. Like, if they were doing rapid beat like this, it got cancelled early. So now my question is, is this rapid beat auto normal? Or is this an actual normal now, like 5B? So that's EX. Which is a crumple state. So this is new, because in previous Melty Blood games, <laughs> there was no crumple state in this game. What this did was just knock you up in the air into a hard knockdown. Which kind of does the same amount of time as uh, crumple. But this game now has crumple. This is the, So it's right now, this is the only instance I we've seen crumple state so far. <laughs> in this game. <laughs> but this is very staple. This special used to be very staple, because this was like the one way where you can guarantee plant setup in the previous Melty Blood games. But that's interesting, we have Crumple State in this game now. And because it's, you know, even if you're airborne, it still forces Crumple State. So this is uh, like a theoretical restand, I guess you can say. So instant air dash jump A, which works because of plant, so she can like follow from it. So jump. So 2A, 2A. 5C, is that 5CC maybe? Jumpy, jumpy. Okay, plants the earth on you. Okay, was that uh, instant air dash again? Yes, it was. You see that marking there? So that means she jump canceled into air dash. <coughs> Probably just hiccups. Okay, so this is how showing how you can get out of this situation. You can do the teleport, which this one actually punished. This is the first time we're actually seeing it as an actual punish because she's still recovering from it. <laughs> At least it looks like she's recovering. Uh, let's see. Uh... Jump C, jump B. Okay, air blockable. So I'm assuming... I'm assuming ground normals are still... air unblockable. Okay, finally, first rapid beat in the game. So that is definitely a rapid beat specific normal. <laughs> this is the rapid beat specific normal. So she's gonna jump A, B, C, 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 B, A, air throw. Alright, so going into that uh, plant. So, kind of saw sad that this is no longer Hey Johnny. She no longer says Hey Johnny anymore, but I think this is now just a straight up <clears throat> EX version. So, I, may, I don't know if she's gonna still have like multiple plant versions depending on how many prices times you press down. So I don't think so because now the cactus is tied to what behind moon scale. <clears throat> which means this is gonna be the regular EX version. No hey Johnny, so sorry. So sad. So punishes with a shield. So you're not safe. Wait, so did it stop doing the thing after she shield the first one? Yeah it did. Okay, so I guess yeah this kinda shows more 
If you she gets hit once while the plant is out, the plants disappear now. So it's a big nerf, Uncle Haku. Oh yeah, so it's something that she can do that. Six six. So this is like six C six C C C, which does wall bounce. So it's a combo extension to corner. Very simple, and she just does very simple too. <clears throat> Jumpy, air throw, keep it short, instant air dash. Oh yeah, the good thing about uh, Husui is that her air throw always puts you close, which means like she doesn't have to do the air da uh, air dash stuff. She's like arc where she stays right, stays right beside you, anyways. So that was really uh, interesting, cool sequence that she's there showing that you can do charge C to fake as another overhead into like either you can do grab or you can do low. <laughs> I don't know, I find that's kind of funny. It's like, I right, just gotta put this cloth over your head. <laughs> you in the bunk. Looks like they just put you late to rest. <laughs> I find that kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, charge jump C, punish. Showing that she can still do that. So this is interesting. So she did the EX. Oh no no. So this is one of the one that where she does a combo extension. I think I think I missed it last time actually. Yeah, she did it from here combo extension from that into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So I missed it from that one. This one she just ends it with that. <clears throat> so the good thing is that I remember I, I pointed it out in the Kohaku trailer. <clears throat> the 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 explosion, the vodka or the cocktail, Molotov cocktail. Has a hitbox going on the way down now. So before it didn't, the only uh, hitbox was on the ground. But now there's a hitbox on the way down, which is good because now you can actually combo it from the air. Which, as you can see, puts them into the ground and then does a full combo from that. So it makes it kind of consistent. So big buff on that move. <laughs> so now she has some. Oh, right. I forgot to see that. I just realized because I skipped ahead. Where is it? Oh my god, it is. So, for people who don't know, people like myself who hasn't played Fate Grand Order, but I know what this is. This is, well, I think it's a quartz from the Fate Grand Order, which is the currency you use to pull gacha. Uh, pull for the gacha characters in that game. Oh my god, I can't believe they brought it here and they made a reference. Oh my god. Okay, this has a lot of implications as well, but I won't go into because it's related to possible leaks, and I don't want to bring that up here. That's up to you guys to really to, um, figure out yourself. Um, and I especially don't want to talk about leaks because the last character that we... Yeah, I don't... I, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about it. <coughs> but uh, I'm just... It's just funny that they brought that from break in order. But anyways, final round now. I just noticed that there's a heart. I wonder if that's a hitbox, too. Oh, it's part of the cake. That's why. So all that putting on top of the cake. So, okay. So this is a really cool interaction. So she shielded the projectile. Tries to um, punish that. Uh, tries to punish uh, with shield teleport, but she was able to react to it because she has recovery. But... They both do this, uh, the cross thing, and this is this is like pretty cool. Um, this is all for show. This is all for show. Uh, the cross thing together, and this would be pretty cool. We see this in real matches and tournaments, but yeah, she also shows that you can do that. Kohaku had to waste half of her moon scale though, so it's kind of a more of a win for Hisui. <laughs> Bless me. Sorry about that. And then jump cancel, and they meet each other in the air. But Hisui wins that one with the jump seeds. That's a really cool interaction, to be honest. So, it's kind of showing that the shield RPS thing is kind of cool, like there could be cool moments with it. I just, I, I'm just kind of concerned about the heavy RPS focus in this game with the shield, so. Um, I don't, if it becomes too RPS focused, then it kind of starts losing its hype. Um, when this is all you do all the time. So if, it, if it's something you start getting used to seeing, then that's when you start losing hype. If it's something that happens not many times, that's why the parry moment was very high because uh, Evil Moment 37, that was like one of the first times you ever see people do that um, recorded on camera. So that's why I was hype initially. Now if people do it, yeah, it'll kind of be kind of hype still, but it doesn't have the same impact if it, like if everyone knows how to do it kind of thing, right? That's kind of like also why the Ryu parry kind of lost its hype because it's much easier to do um, and stuff like that. You see it more commonly, etc. So 
Anyways, so he gets the counter combo into EX uh, projectiles. It all disappears because they all hit. Late put her, late to rest. So wake up, yeah, wake up boon drive. So it's showing, showing here that I'm assuming the hitbox is already out, out active and she's still able to moon drive. So there's no like quote unquote recovery in a sense that there's no recovery on startup. Maybe there's recovery after it, but you know, she can shield it or moon scale. In this case, she moon scale to get out of it because moon scale looks like it's armor active immediately. I don't think that has, yeah, there's no, like I said, because this comes out slowly, that's why she's still able to block it. So it's not really good as an actual reversal. It's good of more of a good get out of get out move. Oh, two hits. Oh yeah. So moon skill slash it hits both low and high. So what happens is that it was her sword slash. You'd have two versions: one to hit high and one to hit low. Um, and you usually do like low high to launch in the air for a combo extension. Looks like the moon skill version does both at the same time. But not, not enough recovery. Unless she can jump cancel it. She didn't jump cancel it though. But it still causes like a hard knockdown. Or not a hard knockdown. It causes like a knock, somewhat knockdown state. But she's able to tech. Ah, uh, the classic dash 2C. Look at that range. That that move, this 2C was such a good move. That it, it, it causes so many people like frustration. But she's, you know, shows that you can repeat cancel that. Such a strong option. Catches her is trying to shield low for some reason. So she still has the, the that this uh, follow-up launcher. Jump C into call for a combo extension. So that's a possible combo extension you could do. Again, instant air dash. This one's much more visible because it doesn't do it like immediately. You can see the double dash a bit better. Oh, so she tried to do jump C low mix-up, but she sees that. Punishes it. It looks like she didn't react in time. It looks like she could have reacted. I think she's just trying to block because she Oh yeah, so that's kind of an RPF. I think she thought it was going to be a regular shield counter, but she did teleport instead. Alright, okay. So the thing I want to note, this jump A thing is very, 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 um... How you can say? It is very common in Melty Blood. It's a very, um, Melty Blood specific thing to do. The rising J J uh, jump A, or like doing jump A in the air in, in general because this is for fishing for counter hits. So the thing with Melty Blood is that counter hits in the air is extremely powerful because every time you get counter hit in the air, you cause into an untechable like falling state until you hit the ground. Once you hit the ground, you can tech left or right, whatever, immediately. But while you're in the air, you cannot tech at all. So it com comes with easy, easy combo extensions as they're falling. So usually, what you want to do, you want to throw a jump A to try to, because you're, it's your fastest move in the air. So a lot of people try to throw out a jump A uh, to meet in the air, hoping to get that counter hit so you can get that free full combo after it. But that's kind of what she's trying to do. So it's a very um, common thing to do, like especially rising jump A to meet them in the air when they're trying to like do an instant air dash and stuff like that. So it's kind of a counter. It's a defensive counter in this, say, this sense, but um, this is kind of how it is. I, I know this is the case for Action Scan and Current Code. I don't remember if Action Scan also had that kind of state. I think before that it wasn't. They, that's what kind of when they added it later. But because she didn't get a uh, counter hit in this sense, uh, but she was able to recognize that she can still combo from it. So jump B, jump B, jump, or jump C, jump B, to jump B, jump C, air throw. But because she used the double jump, she can't do the air dash, uh, instant air dash from it. So instead, she'd go resorts for the plant. But I think she could have got out of it, but she is kind of in a weird state because she's also in the air, so going out and trying to jump out means she's going to meet with her Neo too. Alright, so she's able to shield it into jump forward. And right here, immediately, as you can see, as soon as she got hit, the plant had disappeared. Immediately. So, like I said, that's a big nerf on Kohaku. Oh man, instant air dash, jump B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think she could have cut, again, she could have easily extended this with the Fall, fall, fall up on the pan into air combo, but gotta keep the combo short for the trailer. Yeah, put her late to rest again. Yeah, so she heats out of it. She's recovering health as much as she can, but she's still uh, losing health. Jump C, 2C. Again. Okay, so she, she moon drive to extend the combo from there. About to do that, but she reversals <laughs> arc drive. What a chad. <laughs> Full arc drive finish. 
Well, not finished, but full arc drive animation. Plant. Oh, and yeah, exactly. This is the, this is the perfect, perfect example because the other times we're seeing from Moon Scale and stuff like that. Now this is what from like just or from Moon Drive or like Shield Counter and stuff like that, or uh, Heat. Now we're showing from just a regular Moon Scale. She was able to just reversal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It disappeared immediately. Before this, she would still get hit probably, or maybe not because she had Moon Scale, so maybe she would have armor. And it kills. So. This kind of clarifies some things with Kohaku. I love this win pose, by the way. Oh man. such And this is like a joke, too, within the Tsukihime community about like being a hypnotist and stuff like that. I think it's honestly a, a joke that started from Kagetsu... Uh, uh, that whatever the sequel to Tsukihime was, Kagetsu Toya or something, else, something like that, I think that's what it's called. Um, that introduced a lot of new jokes and stuff, uh, uh, in-universe jokes and stuff like that. But yeah. I, even those is like supposed to be, I guess, showing Hisui winning. I think the most interesting things are a lot of the changes to Hisui. The biggest ones, in my opinion, are that the biggest ones are plant disappears when she gets hit. Now, that's a huge change and a huge nerf, in my opinion. And if I can find it, where is it? Maybe in the second round. This one. This is the other big change in my opinion. Jump C no longer immediately knocks him down to the ground. So she can do this. She can do an actual air combo now. So those are the two big things. Also, which time... Like that uh, broom. Like which Kohaku is now invincible. Reversal. It's invincible now. Which is an interesting decision. But... Uh, yeah. So... I don't think I have much else to say. Because a lot of these other steps I already kind of went over in their immediate uh, character trailers. And plus we've already talked about a lot of the other stuff too. But yeah, they get their moon they get their moon skills, their moon meter really fast. That's another thing. And I noticed Ju Yuna mentioned this when I watched his uh, latest reaction. They got their moon drives really fast. Moon, moon drive is going to be extremely uh, extremely powerful. Off I think more defensively than offensively because it's... It's what like what he calls it a pause screen, a pause button, because I think she does it here. No, she doesn't. No. So there's an uh, instance where she does it. All right here. It's a pause. It's basically a pause button, which means it allows you to recognize the situation, gives you a bit of time to recognize the situation and react accordingly. So. This moon drive is going to be extremely powerful defensively, and we're seeing them mostly used defensively, so that's uh, that big thing. And uh, I think it's good because, you know, Melty Blood's always a game that's like, you have a lot of defensive options, but they're all high risk. Um, that's why Okizime was still very powerful in Melty Blood, regardless of all the defensive options you have, like EX Guard, Shielding, and stuff like that, Bunker, stuff like that, which we haven't seen Bunkers yet. I don't think Bunkers, doesn't look like Bunkers are coming back, which is interesting because Bunker is a staple defensive option in Melty Blood as well. So this is going to be like your new um, defensive option. And it's, I think it's going to be the most powerful one. Again, just like Chain Shift um, in Under Night or... Or um, Trump for like Blue Trump in Dengeki Bunko. That's why Blue Trump was considered the most powerful tool rather than Red Trump, which is just damage. Uh, Blue Trump was very powerful because it's also a pause screen that you can use for either combo extensions or defensive. So this is going to be very, very, very big. So yeah, not much like else I can say. And the next thing is, well, the next trailer is actually going to be the new character. Whatever new character is going to be released tonight. Uh, mostly 11 p.m. Eastern Time, or um, after that care after that trailer, it's gonna be the next match video of these two characters. This time, it's most likely gonna be Kohaku winning, so we're gonna see more of that. So I'll react accordingly to that. Um, but not, uh, nothing else to say. I know it's still uh, four. I know at least on my clock it says like uh, 40 minutes. I I did pause at one point, so you you probably don't see it in the edit. So. It's still a long video, but not as long as it could have been. So, uh, yeah, not much else to say. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.